I want to tell you about my day. I've had an incredible day. It started off with having nothing to do. And it's very strange when you start off with a day where you have nothing to do and it turns out to be an incredible day. But stay with me for a minute. My aunt said, uh, you have nothing to do. I'll drive you down uh, with me. And then maybe you can find something to do down at the shopping center I'm going to. So I went with my aunt. And then when I got out of the car, I saw this brand new C7 Corvette. And I love Corvettes. I'm a big car fan. I love cars. I love motorcycles. And I saw this Corvette and I went over and started talking to the guy in the Corvette. I just wanted to take a picture, honestly, but he got out of the car and we started chit-chatting and he told me he was meeting somebody else that had the same Corvette. I mean, the exact, almost exactly the same Corvette, same color, nearly the same trim, just a couple little differences and that they were going to go for a ride. So the second guy comes and now we're all sitting there talking and we talked for a long time. I mean, I think I was talking to these guys for a good half hour or so. And I kind of started to feel bad. I thought, oh, I'm interrupting these guys. They want to go for their drive. They want to go enjoy their cars. And I started to make my exit, you know, to say my goodbyes. And at that point, Dave says, hey, why don't you come for the ride with us? Um, I can't, I can't impose. I, I, I mean, I just met you. I'm a stranger. <laughs> I know. I'm imposing. <laughs> really? I don't want to ride solo. I can go with you? Oh my God. This is a dream come true. All right. All right. This is unreal. My day just got awesome. Now I get to go for a ride with these two guys, Steve and Dave, and their brand new Corvettes. I'm so excited. Here's your copy. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I just realized I'm running on empty. I'm going to stop at the gas station over here. Okay. It warns you when you make sharp turns that uh, feel like the front tires are doing weird things. Because they're, they're so wide and all, you know, that you get sort of a, a skipping. It feels like the tires are skipping a little bit. Okay. Oh, I can see that, yeah. Yeah, these tires are huge. Well, at Grand Sport, they're... Even they're bigger? Even bigger, yeah. They're, I looked at a Z06. The Grand Sport uses everything the, the Z06 except the supercharger. Right. So it's got the slightly wider fenders to accommodate the tires. The rear tires, I think, were... 25 or something like that, which is a really big tire. I mean, they're, they're quite obviously wider, when you see them, they're quite obviously wider than, than the ones on these. And I'm sure a lot more expensive. <laughs> I said I checked on, uh, checked on tirerock.com online. his exhaust because he, he's got his in track mode the, yeah. the exhaust tone and yours is quiet 
I think I would go with quiet too. Uh, yeah, I'll put the green light, but you can do a launch out of here. Yeah, if you want to launch it here, you can launch it here, he said. Bye. Wow. <laughs> I have to admit, I was not expecting to be pushed back like that. <laughs>
shifting the paddles, will it then stay in the gear that you've selected, or does it go back to automatic mode? There's there's a delay. If you if you're in the manual mode, it'll. It is. videos where people in supercars are playing around out on the highways and things and they always manage to hit each other. Yeah. I've seen some of the you know, fish tail and it's like you don't know how to get out of that. <laughs> and just because someone has enough money for a car doesn't mean they have enough sense to learn how to drive. No. Well, I, said, I got a lot of experience when I had my Triumph. Before that, when I was in high school, my mother had a, a VW here in New Jersey, and I learned how to drive in the snow. Oh yeah, you're gonna spin. Of, you're definitely gonna spin that. All kinds of weird stuff. Yeah, my MG that I had, you know, my first car, it it had okay. no grip. What do you think? You want to do some twisties? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Get get right up on me. Stay on me. That. Yeah, exactly. And that stupid MG, the skinny little tires there, maybe five inches wide. Yeah. That thing spun when the wind blew too hard. <laughs> I spun it down an off ramp once. Like, literally did a 360 and still stayed in the off ramp. It was because it was so small. <laughs> I only did a 360 once in my Triumph. That was, uh, I hadn't had it too long and the tires were basically bald and I was racing somebody who did a left hand downhill turn. And there's no way I was not going to lose it. I didn't hit anything, but it was There we go. They on me. I had a Fiero oh, and uh, it spun on uh, highway. 880, 880 near the 101 interchange going north it spun from the inside lane from the very left lane all the way to the very right way right lane in the rain 360 degrees didn't hit anybody it was amazing because I was just looking at all the headlights terrified <laughs> that I was going to die yeah. somehow it spun all the way to the other yeah, side of the road good. finally caught a hold of it and got it straightened out threw it back into gear bump started it <laughs> Beautiful. 
I saw a um, Lincoln Continental convertible with suicide doors the other oh, night. Oh yeah, yeah. This is insane. It's so beautiful. Four door convertible, yeah. Those are cool. Decreasing radius oh, on ramp, yeah. it's just horrible. I mean, the good thing is it has a long lead before you actually have to merge with traffic. Yeah. And of course, in your car, that's not an issue. Yeah. Do you think you can get carpal tunnel from those paddle shifters? <laughs> where I started but now I have lunch uh, well leftovers from lunch and I have had the most awesome day it was so much fun these guys were so cool I cannot wait to get home edit this video and get it online it was an incredible day and these are the kinds of things that seem to always happen to me I just meet really cool people everywhere I go and I have a lot of fun I mean this is this is why I created this YouTube channel, so I get to share the crazy things that happen with me with everybody else. And I just want to say thanks again for watching the video. Please hit the subscribe button down below. And remember, you are awesome. See ya.